Hello, Baloa. You know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. How do we get in? I don't know. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Nothing over there? Nothing. We are clear.
All clear. There's a door over here. Might be a way through. Right. Back to it. Ah, let's see where this goes. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Whoa! Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. The sovereign respects the sovereign. It's a shame, in a way. The lure's hidden from the world. Another god? I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their Eleven. <laughs> the young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. This way. It just keeps getting more and more spectacular. And in case there was any doubt, this was Balor. Lord Shiva. Plus Nandi. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his skeleton face. Could be. Might also be Katakeya, <laughs> Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. Damn it! They've blown the entrance! That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. <laughs> in here, Nadine. Blah. Tastes great. Hurry up! We need to get up to the other. I see him. Okay, done. Let's go. It's a block. It's a big city. There must be. Ha, huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Oh, well, what on earth is this? What is it? Ancient Kannad script. Looks like stanzas. Could be poetry. This place a library? Seems so. Looks like a drum. It is a drum. They keep all sorts of things in here. Fraser, over here. Whoa. Look at this. It's incredible. It's an altar of some kind. Looks like the king suffered dearly for their people. They weren't just protecting the tusk. Historians believe that it was a symbol of power and dominance, but... 
I reckon they misunderstood. It was a symbol of their people, their culture. It was a symbol of them. What sort of this? Sav get that task. No. No, we can't. Thank you. Thank me after we get out of this alive. <laughs> Fair point. Don't forget Ganesh. Through here. Oh, magnificent. All this grandeur hidden away from the world. But how do we get over there? <laughs> Come on, it's deep enough. Okay. That's our way back in. Copy that. Going first, eh? You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, 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 
Ready? I've got my eye on you. It's kind of a tight squeeze here. Oh, hello. Nice city you've got here. Does it? No. What? Got water in my ears. I hate that. I wouldn't give her a towel. <clears throat> my God. Are you seeing this? You know, at this point, I've run out of words. Holy goddamn shit. That's what? <gasps> what on earth is this place? The throne room. Place to hide a magnificent bejeweled tusk. Let's hope so. Shit, I just realized something. I think I'll know what it is. That we're gonna need that disc soon? Exactly. Well, not much we can do until we find Asav. Or until he finds us. Over here, Nadine. Copy that. Now we're getting somewhere. I see a few more of those cranks around the chamber. <gasps> the hand is moving. Be more specific. Right hand. Lower. Right hand. <sighs> Maybe it's because this statue's enormous. But I've just now noticed Shiva's got a king cobra for a necklace. That's Vasuki, a king of the Nagas. Entities that take the form of the king cobra. It shows his control over fear and death. Hmm. Cobras were always my favorite snake. Don't think I have a favorite snake. Hmm. Now what's that up there? One thing at a time. Right. <laughs> okay. Now what? Well, there's got to be more to this. Just need to figure out what it is. <laughs> Coming? I'm going to search the other side. Okay. There's another crank up ahead. Going back now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hang on. Oh, good suggestion. Ah, oh, that was a close one.
my pants. Wow. I can see my house from here. I did. I'll be right down. Oops. Ah. Ah. Slippery. Go. Okay, I've got this one. Bringing down Shiva's drum. Uh oh, this one's like the trident. Time to move. Come on, jump to the drum. Thought it was an hourglass. It's an hourglass shape drum. Oh shit, here we go. Hang on. And now we turn the water on for this side. And here we go. We've got water running down both sides. Look. Oh. Shall we? Is that it? We'll find out in a moment. Light is shining on that statue across the way. Oh, I guess we're not done. When the Hoysala want to protect something, they don't do it halfway. Come on. Right. Yeah. Now we tend to the other two. Yeah. 
statue's not in the right place. <gasps> ah, right. <clears throat> Got it. Well, shit. This one's busted. Let me see. Hang on. You got that?
Well, now that was quite the fall. You had me worried. Come, it's time for a reunion. He wouldn't give you up, despite my efforts to persuade him. Sam! Jesus. Hey, you made it. Dude. It's all right. He is like a girl. Is that right? How about we get these cuffs off and I'll show you how girls hit? The hell is she doing here? You said find help, I got help. Yeah. I must admit, you are quite the schemer. First you steal my disc, then you have your expert run me around in circles, huh? <laughs> That's clever. Perhaps there's a little Indian blood in you after all. Let's finish what we started. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. She saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit irked that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my... Real classy, thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up! the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on oh, our on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill him. He's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <coughs> Chloe, don't! Drama.
Louis, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. Testing my patience. Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? Uh, I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. <laughs> Not to a selfish prick, no. You <laughs> see, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had, that would have made Shiva's axe look weak. Powerless. Gonna sacrifice himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. 
Okay, then what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right? As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Bias. What do you mean? There's no Verdasov talking about <clears throat> heading to the old rail yard, something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh, <clears throat> back there. Thanks for. Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. These are nice. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Sov will have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the bias? Uh, well, I tried. Asov's a cagey one. Almost never talks shop in front of me.